How's it going everyone? This is MedCat here and today we're going to be going over four questions that I think it is essential that you ask anyone that you are considering to potentially be your MCAT tutor. So let's jump into the first one. You want to ask them, have you taken the MCAT in the past three years? Now there are a lot of MCAT tutors out there with really impressive letters after their name. I'm talking people with PhDs and masters in some of the subjects that the MCAT includes. Things like physics, organic chemistry, general chemistry, psychology, sociology, biology, biochemistry, or maybe even the humanities to help with the cars section. However, if they haven't sat down with a real official MCAT or even an unofficial MCAT in the past three years themselves for that full seven hours, then you're gonna be shortchanging yourself on choosing that person as an MCAT tutor because they're not going to have the same experience having taken the MCAT as someone who's taken it more recently. It's best practice in the MCAT tutoring industry, even if you're well out of undergraduate school, to take an MCAT at least once every three years, and ideally every year. So let's say there's a tutor out there that has a really impressive degree, but they haven't actually taken the MCAT in the past three years, you're probably better off looking for someone who has. Now that brings me to number two, because we also want to ask them, how many live hours have you tutored? Now you just don't want a tutor who's just recently taken the MCAT that hasn't done any tutoring or any tutoring training. Now, if they don't have any, that's probably fine, but you should recognize that you don't want to be paying someone who has no training and no live hours under their belt $100 an hour or even more than that. Sometimes you see ridiculous prices that people charge for MCAT tutoring, even though they have no experience other than getting a good score themselves. So remember this before you choose an MCAT tutor. Just because someone scored well does not mean they can teach you to score well as well. They need some experience and they need some training and some sort of teaching philosophy. Now three is also an important question to ask, what was your official score? Because a lot of third-party test prep companies, especially big ones like Kaplan, employ tutors with scores that wouldn't fly at a lot of other companies. So let's say you're choosing between a tutor and one of them scored a 505, which is a decent score, don't get me wrong, and another who scored above a 520 you probably want to, go, want to go with a second tutor just because they have more MCAT expertise. I'm not making a judgment on who's a better medical school candidate because that is determined by many factors, but you definitely want to pick the person that has better MCAT expertise, and that's going to be reflected by an official score. So now that we've gone over one, two, and three, let's go to our final one, number four. And this one's actually surprisingly rare. Have you received any MCAT teaching or training? So teaching or training. Now this could be just a couple hours. It could be an entire training module. But a lot of people who teach the MCAT are people in gap years that are just between um, <clears throat> their undergraduate and medical school years. And that's perfectly fine. I think that's awesome that people are doing that. But that also means that a lot of people with no experience are charging exorbitant amounts to students when really, um, you know, they don't warrant that super high price. So if someone with no experience wants to charge you $100 an hour for MCAT tutoring, you should probably say no to them because there are a lot better deals for you out there. So keep all these questions in mind when you are searching for someone to be a potential MCAT tutor. And this doesn't matter if it's someone from a big third-party company or an individual. And that is because a lot of big third-party companies do not vet their tutors as much as you think they do, as well as individuals making themselves, themselves sound really good on a resume with their score, but they actually don't have a lot of experience and don't really warrant charging $60 or more an hour for MCAT tutoring. So remember to ask these four questions when you're considering someone to be an MCAT tutor. That's it for today's MedCAT video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, 
and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.